Hello everyone, I have finished a blanket which is called Bib Bits and Bobs, I hope I'm saying right, check the title, by Kate jo Jones and it was a thrill to knit. We have a year 2022, I started it in 2020. I just finished it, I haven't blocked it and I haven't weaved in an end or other end, so forgive me that, I just want to share. tell you first what I used and then I'll tell you the story behind it because obviously when you're knitting with loft hours there's there's a bit of story. So what I did the pattern it's over here so you can check it out. I can tell you that I purchased this pattern in December 2017 and I cast it on in 2020. <laughs> so three years later. As you can see it's written down that it is for fingering weight yarn however it is also written to hold that yarn together so if you check the gauge the gauge recommendation is 70 stitches however it's a blanket you don't really think too much about it let's face it i don't remember how many stitches i have cast on i think i cast it on like over 201 i think you had to go even or uneven i don't really remember so if you see my blanket the longer edge is the one that i have or had stitches and needles on and I had mixed leftovers with another yarn that it's very friendly from perspective on the budget um, and I lean towards it is a uh, drops fable and this one that I use is color 115 this is a fingering weight yarn so sock weight yarn we have 75% superwash wool over here and 25% polyamide <laughs> And I will sound weird because it's quite dusty and I'm allergic to dust. So <laughs> obviously when you're knitting something for a while, it gathered dust. So <sighs> bear in mind that. And what I tried to do, I tried to keep the labels, bow bands of the yarn that I used. So I used one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I have another two, which I still have some little bits over here. So 12 50, 50 gram balls. And it would have been, um, but just pay attention that I hold the two grays together in this section, which almost took 100 gram. And then on the other side, exactly the same thing. So that will be what, 12 minus four, eight. So 400 grams of the other yarn that I had to use if I had to guess. So we have all those leftovers over here that you can see that if I had to measure them, I probably would end up with 400 grams. Just my guess from just not even weighing, weighing without even check without even checking how heavy this blanket is. What's fun about it is that I used some leftovers that my friends gave me, some single yar yarns that I would not use in the in the for instance this one in the any sub project. So I really really liked it and the middle of it has a golden line. So I call this blanket of like our house swap blanket because uh, we lived in one area almost 10 years we were renting without three months that's 10 years and eventually we're able to um, get a mortgage and get the house which we have to pay off so it doesn't belong to us still just be aware <laughs> but I wanted to mark it um, and I use this gold leftover that I received from a friend I never knew what I'm going to do with it because it's kind of gold color it's not must mustard it's not and it's not yellow, uh, but I didn't have a lot of it and I thought it would just be perfect. So you could see from where I have the tag, I was knitting that much in an old house. And then when we moved, I knitted that much in the new house. 
and we're expecting a baby so I thought it'd be perfect to just just you know finish it and have it as a house blanket and maybe I will be ready to knit a new blanket for the baby. We shall see how that goes. I'm not promising anything. My mom uh, crocheted a blanket and my friend crocheted a blanket. So uh, that's that. And I picked this blanket, this pattern, because I love this stitch. It reminds me of brioche, but it's not like brioche knitting. It's super easy, so, so much fun. Although you have to look what you're doing, you can make some errors. I record it one tutorial over here if you see something like this what to do with it i'll try to pay attention to spot some stuff but i might have one or two that i missed and during because it's so squishy and so nice i might have areas that something is pulled out because accidentally you know while i was knitting and sitting somewhere so you can see this i can easily fix that so it's not an issue but i can show you look at this look at this so it can be easily pulled out. I used 4.5, I think. I used 4.5 millimeters knitting needles, which is in US 7. I have a hook just in case I wanted to, you know, fix errors. And um, this pouch, quite similar to this, you can find on my website. If you like knitting on circular knitting needles, check that out. And uh, also I have recorded, I think, a blanket in progress video. That was, I think, a few weeks ago because people were asking me, am I knitting on this blanket? Have I frogged it? Or so on, so on. So I wanted to. Um, so if you're interested to hear more about that, check that out. And I'm so happy with it. Let me know, do you have any blankets on your knitting needles or on your hook? Are you using one color? or specific colors, are you using leftovers and just putting them in some kind of order or you just randomly pick them up? Um, do you like more squishy blankets or you like more crochet blankets? Um, let me know down below. I'll be interested to read about it. And that's that, I hope you enjoyed this one. Recommend you maybe to go to check nine baby blankets that I went through regularly and uh, wanted to see which one I would like to make. I really like all of them. There's some knits, some crochet, so maybe you would like to enjoy that. Obviously, it's a baby one, but you can always extend it and make it bigger for yourself or for your friend. <laughs>